Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of Fierce Chats. It is officially, officially, what's wrong with my, my words? Officially season three. I know y'all been waiting. Like, I literally know y'all been waiting. Let me stop. Let me stop. I honestly have missed y'all so, so much. Taking off a break. I've been doing the wife thing. I've been doing the mother thing. And I've really been doing the other thing, y'all. Okay. First of all, before we get into it, before we get into the topics, because, honey, it's been so much going on. <laughs> it's been so much going on. Before we get into the topics, how are you? Put some chatter over down here in the comments. Let me know how y'all been. Let me know what y'all think about this episode. If you're not already subscribed, do you hate me? <sighs> the Virgo in me, I just can't seem to, you know what I mean? One plus one is not equal in two. But anywho, um, how have y'all been? How have you been? Truthfully and honestly and truthfully, how have you been? How are things? The summer is wrapping up. I feel like it was it was such a hot summer here in Georgia. It was such a hot summer. Um, it was extra hot because if you haven't looked at my Instagram and I doubt that I have posted the vlog, I'm sorry. I, I realized over the summer that... <sighs> I'm really giving y'all vlogs so that y'all can get like a personal feel from me, but I'm not a vloggy girl. You know, I like to talk. I want to talk to y'all. You know what I mean? So, um, I probably have not posted a vlog, but maybe I have. Let me not put my down, myself down like that, but maybe I have. Probably not. <laughs> but anyways, I am expecting a baby girl in January, 2025. So I really have been doing my mother thing for real girl. Okay. And it's been an extra, extra hot summer okay um because of it so i am looking forward to the temperatures cooling down all right um this episode comes out a day before my birthday so make sure y'all hit up at she's your fierce on tomorrow give me some birthday love mwah, 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 mwah. and tell me tell your girl happy birthday okay and speaking of babies let's get into the mess Right now, I know that she announced this quite some time ago, but since we're checking in, we're checking in and catching up, girl, let's get back into it. So Jasmine Chiefs recently told the girls who her baby father was and come to find out it's 600 Breezy. She has made so many, so many comments since then. And I'm just kind of looking at her like, <clears throat> I'm not one to judge, but as a Virgo girl, I got to keep it real with you. I can't, I can't sugarcoat stuff. When stuff looks goofy oofy, I got to tell you it looks goofy to me. You know what I mean? So anywho, let's go ahead and listen to this clip real quick. And then we'll be right back. Oh, now that Blaze is here, two months in, y'all see my baby living good. Y'all see we don't even need no dad. So I'm willing to, you know, let y'all in on the secret. My baby daddy. Oh, Blaze said he don't even want to talk about the name. Okay. Well, Blaze didn't say that. That's what you said. <laughs> he cried. I don't think my baby talk. Ain't that right? Okay, 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 okay. Anyway, my baby daddy, my real baby daddy. I don't need no fucking DNA test. He don't need no DNA test. His mama. Everybody know who the fuck my baby daddy is. My baby daddy is <laughs> six hundred Reezy. Six hundred. <laughs> okay, so. In the clip, you will hear Jasmine say, oh, well, we don't really need a daddy. We won't even need a father over here. And I'm really tired of that. Like, I'm absolutely tired of that narrative. Kids need both parents. Now, while I understand that, you know, that's not always going to be the case from like a co-parenting perspective or from, I don't even know, from other perspectives, there's different situations where that's not the case. Kids need both parents. So let's stop acting like 
oh, he don't need, you know, he don't need, he, he don't need a daddy. Yes, he does. Um, honestly, I felt like the clip personally and truthfully, I felt like it was a bit, mm, I don't know. It was given a little bit like Jasmine's a bit naive. No, was, uh, was y'all getting mad? Like she, a bit naive. She's over here like Blaze doesn't need a daddy. Um, and I had, she goes on to also say that I had y'all fooled. Huh? What? What? Why would you want to fool your fans, because I, I really don't follow. I don't follow. I don't engage. You know, I'm bringing these topics to y'all just when I see them come across social media or any other space that kind of like interests me in regards to topics overall. So, honey, I'm not a part of the group. But why would she say it all? Why would she why would she say I had y'all fooled? Why is that something to try and do? Talking about y'all, y'all gullible and I can make y'all believe anything that I'm doing and blah, blah, blah. How, how does that make any sense? It, it really is giving you're not focused on the correct thing. And I'm guessing that, you know, 600 Breezy, he has three kids, they're triplets with Queen Key. And I remember watching her kind of post on Instagram and post on social media that her baby father was not claiming her kids. Okay, so let's fast forward. So now Jasmine Cheese has gone on to a show with her sister, Jada. <laughs> Anyways, gone on to a show with her sister Jada and and Des. <laughs> Jada and Des. Oh, girl, pregnancy mine. mind. So anyways, um, went on a show, went on their podcast, Act Normal Podcast, which by the way, I like the podcast and I'm not saying nothing against J um, Jada or Des. So anyways, she go on their podcast and she was like, I said what I said. I'm standing on it. He takes a care of the kids that he claims. Have y'all seen him post anything in regards to her son, Blaze? I, I personally haven't seen it. I haven't seen it come across the table for me at all. I haven't seen it. So I'm just like, where do you go talking about somebody else's kids? That's not your situation. It's not your situation to speak on. And I just feel like I find too often that women are crossing over and lanes don't have nothing to do with you. I'm not seeing 600 Breezy even comments or say anything about this at all. So you going hard. You going hard on a man who doesn't even really seem to be defending you. And also, I'm going to keep it, keep it a buck, keep it a hundred. My baby daddy, this is my baby daddy. It's not cute. It's not cute. It's not cute. I don't like it. It's not cute. I really don't think that sitting over here being like, this is my baby daddy, this, 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 and that. It's something to be sitting over here feeling cute about. And again, I'm not judging, but I do think that we all have decisions. And so 600 Breezy had already showed that he really not finna sit here and trying to be a stand up man and take care of kids. I honestly didn't even know that he had other kids. She said he has two other children um, when she was talking to her sister and Des. Um, said he has two other children, I believe. And then he claims Blaze. I think as a woman, like I'm such a girl's girl that like you really shouldn't be speaking on somebody else's kids, somebody else's situation. If she said this is her kid's father, then just leave it at that. Uh, she can uncover, she can mori it up. She can do whatever she chooses to do to prove whether or not that is true. And even then that business is hers. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think. I think Jasmine, she she's giving slow. Like just a little bit, just a little, a little bit slow. And if she is saying that 600 Breezy is already claiming her child Blaze, then why would you start the conversation off saying that we don't even want to talk about this nigga and we don't even need no daddy? Blaze is saying we don't need no daddy. Why? Then why are you saying that? So which is it? So which is it? Because I, I, I don't. I recall that Jasmine went to her baby shower and she was with another man, pregnant and all. I don't know if she, I'm not saying she paid this man. I'm not saying she set him up or any of those things. Maybe she was in a real relationship. I have seen that happen where, um, you know, a woman, she's pregnant and she's able to bag a man. More power to you. No shade. They had Christmas pictures and all of these different things. So I guess she's not in that relationship no more. So she has to come clean about who her baby father was. Honestly, it just really was, oof. And Jada and Jasmine, they're from Savannah here in Georgia. And Savannah, it's the hood. It's the ghetto. And I really can't even speak on it because I'm a suburbs girl. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm not even speaking on it in a way of speaking down on it. I'm just saying like, eh, sometimes there ends up being some disconnect. And some disconnect in between what 
does or does not make sense. I really was going to sit here and <laughs> have y'all also seen the marketing um, that Jada recently did for her, like, is it Malibu capsules for her swim line where her son was in the video with her and she actually ended up being on the beach her booty cheeks all out. She's basically naked. She ends up getting up and takes off her bra and walks into the beach. And she says that her son, you know, he wasn't there during that time period. But it, I don't know who came up with the concept. I don't know who came up with the concept, but I personally wasn't into it. And I think once you have kids anywhere in the facility or anywhere in a marketing concept, it needs to be appropriate for children. It doesn't mean you have to speak to a childlike audience, not what I'm saying, but it definitely needs to be appropriate for kids to be a part of the entire concept. She could have done that. She could have had her booty cheeks out and done whatever she wants to do and not had her kid. And I would have been like, okay, whatever, Jada. Like, I, I, I guess this is what we're doing. Sometimes I feel like, you know, the BBA girlies, the shot booty girlies, I feel like, you know, that's all y'all really want to show. And again, <laughs> not into the marketing concept there, but to each his own. So it's just like, <sighs> the apple don't seem to fall far from the tree. It's a bunch of little like weird little activity going on. And again, not, I'm a girl's girl. So I'm not trying to get down on Jasmine. I'm not trying to get down on Jada, but I do have to be real. I think they're both as sisters, as a unit, as a, as a together uh, from the same family are making decisions that involve children that don't really that aren't the best. They simply aren't the best. Anyways, that's all I have to say about that. Next. All right, y'all. I feel crazy even talking about this topic because this is a fellow girly. But while we're on the topic of co-parenting and blending families and doing things that's appropriate for kids. Okay. Key, key Palmer. Now, she filed a restraining order back in November of 2023. And not sure if y'all saw this, but she dropped that restraining order um, and filed for custody in May of this year. Um, there was a court schedule for this case back in July, and that was ultimately canceled as a result of dropping the restraining order. Um, her baby daddy, Darius Jackson, filed a restraining order right after her. And she recently posted to her Instagram this summer a video of her baby father in the pool with her son, Leo. I don't know. What what do y'all what do y'all think about this? I I just feel like if a woman is filing a restraining order and also making claims of DV that it's serious enough to where she had to take that step. I don't feel like those type of things are done in vain. No? And I'm concerned, I'm concerned because we keep, and I've not, you know, I, I'm also an advocate for, if you're not in the situation, if you haven't been in the situation, you can't really speak on it. Um, so I'm not going to say too much in regards to, you know, her feeling like she needed to file um, a restraining order against her son's father. But like, do y'all not recall all of that? Do you not recall the cyclone that we were in while we're sitting here watching our favorite like child star especially as a black woman watching one of our favorite black child stars am I saying right black child stars child star who's black anyhow our favorite child our favorite girl you know Kiki is our girl next door okay we like the Kiki with Kiki so for her to actually put this up I don't feel like I have ever seen her put anything publicly and maybe she did not maybe this is just ended up to being you know public knowledge and therefore we ended up finding out about it the blogs picked it up I don't really I can't really recall whether or not she actually commented on it directly um but it again she dropped the restraining order I looked high and low all over the interweb honey I, I even asked Jeeves and some of y'all don't know nothing about that but I guess that's showing my age um actually you know where is Darius Jackson's, where is his restraining order? Did he drop it? Was it dropped? And now they don't have that court case? I don't know. It was just a lie. It was just very, very messy. It was Darius Jackson and then his brother from Insecure, um, who also ended up filing a restraining order, I believe, against Kiki's mother. And so this was quite, quite the family scene. Quite the family scene. And 
for all that to be dropped. And then the 4th of July, they in the pool and she's recording it. She clearly recorded it. She put it, she also put it on her Instagram. Um, Darius Jackson, he actually did not post it to his Instagram or anything like that, which is fine because I do believe Kiki's fans have been on his ass since, you know, the whole, the whole situation with them. So I believe he like disabled his comments. He's not really putting anything on it, but I'm just like co-parenting or enabling. I, I can't figure it out. Y'all let me know. Like does co-parenting require for y'all to be fraternizing? And I guess her son is young, so she wants to be with, and especially, you know, maybe I could look at it from a different perspective as well. Like, I'm guessing that she also, you know, but like, mm, she posted it to her IG. Mm. Even again, even when I look at it from that perspective, if you, if I filed a restraining order against you, domestic violence, and we saw the video. So this man seemed to have come into the house. He swung her over like he seems to be an aggressive young man. So if I file a restraining order against you, regardless of what the co-parenting or not co-parenting stipulations are, you no longer have access to me in that way. Period. <laughs> let's just, let's keep it a hundred. Let's just keep it a hundred. You no longer have access to me that way. And I don't think you should. So I don't know. I think this is a case of, you know, whatever works best for you. But again, do we, I just hope that I truthfully, truthfully, I'm not trying to be messy. I truthfully hope that Kiki is all right and that she feels like she's doing the best for her son. But I think that if you go to a certain space in your relationships, but relationships are really like, they're a whole bunch of highs and lows. Like they, they really are. So I don't know to drop the restraining order. I guess that, I guess that interferes with her trying to parent her son and trying to co-parent. Um, or really it affects her trying to co-parent with his father if she has a restraining order. I'm sure that added another stipulation, another thing that made it difficult for them to try and move on and do what's best for their son. But even here again, um, I don't know. I feel like, <sighs> I, again, I was not able to find one thing that said that he dropped the restraining order. And maybe that's because his restraining order was, I don't know, I wasn't able to find whether or not his restraining order was accepted or not. Um, hers was, um, I guess you could call accepted, or I guess you could call it, um, once it was filed, they had a, a court date scheduled. So I guess you could say that the court or the jury or the judge found probable cause to have them go and have a court date. So I don't know if his didn't make it that far. And that's why I couldn't find on anything on it being dropped. But I feel like constantly, constantly I'm finding that us as women is really compromising ourselves too much to make stuff so easy for the man to just kind of like have that second and third and fourth and fifth and sixth chance. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too harsh. I'm not trying to be a hypocrite. I really am not. Maybe I'm being too harsh. Again, I just hope Kiki's okay. So Kiki, we just hope you're okay. And if you need to pick up that restraining order and put it under an alias, you give us a call here at the Fierce Chat Show. Okay, babe, did you hear that? Let me just recap it for you real quick. <laughs> Okay, so long story short, Kiki Palmer, she filed a restraining order against her baby father. Did you recall seeing all that? You remember that? Absolutely not. <laughs> Did you? You didn't see any of that? No, no. Okay, long story short, Kiki Palmer was with her baby father. We was all real happy for her. And then out of nowhere, it seemed, out of nowhere, it seemed, they were not together. And then all this stuff started to come up where there was a video of her baby father, like throwing her over the couch and things like that. So she filed a restraining order back in, I believe, November of 2023. Long story short, she's dropped the restraining order. Okay. Her baby father also filed a restraining order and his brother filed a restraining order as well. But I believe that the restraining order was against her mother. It was just very messy. Like after that whole thing, it just, it just became very messy, very, very messy. And I could not find where it showed that he dropped his, the baby father, Darius Jackson, 
but I could find where she dropped hers. And they were supposed to have a hearing at the beginning of this year in January, but they've dropped it. And over the summer, she posted on July 4th in particular, she posted a video of her baby father and her son in the pool and them kind of having a little moment together. She posted this to her Instagram. Mm -hmm. And my question is, does this have really anything to do with co-parenting? Absolutely not. I, I would say their situation is, is their situation. And what they're going through is their, huh. pers- it's their personal stuff, right? Right. The thing is, you know, I feel like when you're in a relationship, things happen, right? Yeah. It could be a little, you know, toxic behavior a little bit. But that's why you don't put your business out, you know, in the public. Um, and even that's it. But you have people that live in the public as well. So right. to me, it's, hey, it's their building. They're. I and the only reason I say that, right, because of my experience, um, where I my son's mother, you know, we we didn't ha- always have the best co-parenting relationship, uh-huh. but you build towards that, yeah. right? And that's my thing. You build towards a co-parenting relationship. In the beginning, you still have emotions involved. You still got a lot of feels, and um, usually you you probably need like a mediator or some type of additional advice. Um, just to settle both parties, right? Both heightened emotions. And then with time, that co-parenting piece kind of kick in a little bit where you you get over the person, honestly. You know, in the beginning, you probably break up. You guys doing things back and forth, tit for tat. Not going to cap. You know, you, you want to, you guys experience a lot of hurt. A lot of hurt. So instead of, and once you move past that, I think it gets beautiful, right? When, you know, both individuals probably, you know, move forward. Yeah. Probably get a, um, a significant other of their own. Hey, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing, you know? Hmm. So, but you agree that posting it to our Instagram and things had nothing to do with co-parenting? <laughs> do you nah. think that that was... I mean, their son is young. I, I don't know if he's even two years old yet. He may be going on two years old. So, do you think that maybe as a mother, she needed to be there? But it was on her IG. Hey, she's showing love to her. That's that's the father of a child. You huh? know what I mean? That's it's love. Love is love. She can do whatever she wants to. Her IG is her IG. Facts. That's like posting the Tasha X. That <laughs> you don't told everybody I don't like this thing. I hate him. He did this to me, but now y'all booed up. You taking a picture, y'all posting pictures now. Uh-huh. Come on. It's the same exact thing. Now, you know, it's just love. It is what it is. She can do, she can post anything she wants. This is true. I mean, I took a look at Darius, is her baby father. I took a look at his um, IG and he hadn't posted anything. However, um, I think he'd like to disable his comments. I think Kiki, you know, her fan base is very large. So they're probably on his page harassing him and things like that. So I'm sure it wouldn't have been, you know, it didn't seem, you know, he, it, he doesn't seem to be on his social in that space like that. You know what I mean? I think some people, and you know, let's use us for an example, right? I like my privacy. Uh, I like to be private. I don't want people to come up to me 24 mm. seven and, and reaching out to me. He probably like his privacy. He probably want to, you know, he's probably working on something individually. But when you have outside forces in your business, that's when things get extra complicated, right? A lot of opinions that's unnecessary. Hmm. And honestly, if I had social media where I had you get extra opinions. Yeah. But how is that going to help the situation? I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that. Uh restraining order in place <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm saying so hey. as a as a woman i'm just like she dropped her restraining order but i also do feel like it would have caused an issue with them trying to co-parent uh i would say i would say did she do it for a reason you don't know what reason she dropped it because it probably publicly it probably looks some type of way you know usually people that's in a public face care about what people think and care about, you know, hey, hey, they found out about this. Let me move this way without actually involving the person that they may have impacted. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's not a decision probably based off. Hey, you know, we are, we actually cool. She's probably not. Nah, that looks some type of way. So let me let me drop mine without resolving the problem. Same thing. Hey, let me take this picture with my with, with my boyfriend and, or my husband. And we had we fighting for real. We fight. Let me make sure the public. Claps their hands, give me my round of applause, but internally we over here battling demons for real. Like we going possibly going through a divorce or something. This could be fact. I mean, you know, this is just her BD. You know, it's her boyfriend at that. And honestly, this is really my first time. You know, I was saying that Kiki's our little, she's our our child star. We love a good Kiki. Exactly. 
And this is my first time ever seeing any sort of scandal with Kiki. Scandals, they come and they go, right? The thing is, and people that's impacted, to me, this is my opinion, is that people that, that experience scandals, it's never a good experience. So you want the scandal to be over, right? Hmm. So what you do is you po you get rid of it. You get rid of the scandal. Ah! And now you say you got your people's love back. The, could this be PR? It could be. It could be. We don't know. Possibly. Hmm. I never thought about ratings. That. Probably that. went down because of because of it. when the public found out some <laughs> bad things. <laughs> now, now she's good, right? Now she now she may be good. Now. I feel like Kiki popped out. I think that she had a Hello Fresh commercial. She had some other different things where you know she was just moving along. You know what I mean? And I don't even really recall whether or not. I don't believe she posted any of those things to her social. I think these were things that came out like they were released because of the fact that they were released somehow in some kind of way. So, you know, like you said, they're in the public. They live in the public. That's messing up her money. That's how I got it. You saying you have a scandal. I ain't never heard. Of, you know what? I have heard of one. That actually helps your money. What 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 scandal have you heard? Yeah, I'm money? not even about to say it here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, uh, certain sex tapes definitely help scandal. You know, it helps. It helps. It get boost. It get drive. Touché. But if it's something that's like, I think that physically or mentally damaging to a person, those things, they they impact the way people view you. Right. That impacts right. your money. That that impacts. You know, you you're not gonna get no no deal. If you sit here, you you just got a domestic violence case, or you you got a restraining order, and it looks some type of way. But uh, just say as a brand, you have your brand, right? Would you want to have somebody that that's taking a photo shoot with you? Say it's a girl, if it's a lady, or if it's a guy, and they just got accused of like domestic violence, would you want to post them? Oh, my brand. That's a good thing. That's a good point. Your brand. Is super important. Um, and sometimes it comes at the expense of truly what you're going through. However, your brand is business. It's and business. you have to be able to separate your personal from business. And whatever that looks like to everybody else is not your responsibility. It's about making sure that brand stays on track. Exactly. It's you can business. handle what you need to handle from behind it's closed doors. Personal. So to answer your question, no, you're not about to be in my picture exactly. on my... You're not going to tarnish my brand. Exactly. What are, and and even if like like if Kiki was a friend or something like that, I'd be like, baby, let's not put it on. Let's not put a little. She could be on my story, but hey, not a post. Hey, so was <laughs> her, her her baby daddy was on a story, but not a post, right? No, he was a post. It was it the was last post. Or it was like it was a it was a dump, you know. And you slid, 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 and he was the last position. Oh, that's cool though. That's cool. That's still you had to be entertained to go all the way to the last post. Uh -huh. I mean, it was her, it's Kiki, oh, hey. you know, it was her son, you know, hey. I'm going to slide through. And as a journalist, <laughs> all right, let's take a quick break and we're going to hop into today's spotlight. Yeah, babe, I think you made some good points. I think branding is super important. And I do know Kiki to be, she always says, a multi-hyphenated woman who is involved with so many different things. So, you know, being able to kind of clean that up and, you know, show a different perspective despite such a tumultuous experience may be part of strategy. Could be. <laughs> All right, let's hop into today's spotlight. Y'all, I literally was looking at these two different um, brow pencils and I'm gonna show them up here. The one on the left is gonna be Benefits Brow Pencil and that's gonna be the Definer Pencil. And then the one on the right is gonna be Max um, Brow Pencil. And that is in the color Spike. Honestly, both of these pencils have such a thin and such a fine type of precision, but I always told y'all I really prefer a fine precision over a wider type of brow pencil. And I just feel like it gives you more control. But for some reason, benefits, you are my girl. Love you down, but honey, 
benefits the pencil keep breaking it break 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 and y'all gonna have to let me know maybe it's my heavy hand but i still like the product so i'm going to go ahead and spotlight both of these products here today and you girls tell me what you think i did actually use max spike pencil on today and y'all gonna be like girl if you use benefits then you can use mac i don't know maybe it's the pencil maybe it's how they put it together I'm not sure, but I feel like I'm able to get a little bit more control with the MAC pencil and it's not breaking as much. It still is popping at the end, but that may be due to my heavy end. So that is it for today's episode, y'all. I appreciate you for tuning in. And if you have not already, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.